Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Delightful Creations. I'm Amber, and today we're talking about more storage ideas for all of your, you know, organizing needs. So this is my box of my other ephemera that is not in that binder. So the binder tends to be more for the smaller elements or the elements that I'm currently working on and need to be cut up. This is actually project ephemera is what I call it. And inside my nice little box here, I've got a whole bunch of these Jot Button File bags. They come three to a pack from the local dollar store, really cheap and affordable way to store my goodies. I do, um, I have like two left. Um, I got all they had, so I'm going to use them up. And in order to do that, I used my brand new label maker, which I'm super excited that I got so I can finally see where all of my things are and be able to find them quickly. So I'm just going to run through them. This is the first folder here. It's embellishments. So this is where I'm going to put my finished embellishments. So I have a couple ATCs in here and then these dually dresses. In the next pocket here, I've got all of my library cards that I've printed out and the little pockets that go with those as well. I don't have very many because I use them a lot. The next one here is what I call a faux envelope. And I'll just show you this big one here. So it looks like a regular envelope and you can stick it down as a tuck spot in the back. And then you open it and it has writing space. See how fun that is? Super fun. So there's those right there. And um, I learned that from a gal here on YouTube. I can't remember her name. And then these are my banner pockets that I've made. So I've got the finished ones and the ones where the bases are done. It's just easier for me to have them all in one spot even though technically you could probably put that in the embellishment folder, but um, for me, embellishments are smaller. So that's like a big full on page decoration. This is my lined writing paper um, that I have coffee dyed. Um, just like write little notes on and stuff. And I wanted that in here as well. These are my postcards. I have some that are store-bought. Sorry, I should be shaking. <laughs> like this one is a store-bought one. And then a couple of them I've made. Um, and turned into, I cut that out of a book and I just made the back and it looks like just like a regular postcard. The other images in here are not um, back. Some of them are and some aren't. And it's just really easy to see what's in here and go through it. So as I go further back in the box, the, stuff, the bags get fuller and fuller. These are all my tags. Every tag in here has a eyelet. Um, that is the requirement to go in this bag. So if it doesn't have an eyelet, it doesn't go in this bag because that means to me that it's not ready to use. And then in this one are my altered paper clips. So I've got the fun little stringy bits. I've got some of the leftover fall ones that I've made and then some out of my button clusters. And the next one, I have all of my pre-made pockets. So some of them are out of book pages, some out of scrapbooking paper and some out of notebook um, book pages. I have my huge bag here of button clusters. I sat and made all of these button clusters. Um, and I started out doing it with my friend's, or my cousin's vintage junk journal. And I made these all over like, I don't know, three or four days. So um, I got a little carried away, but I've got plenty, plenty to use for a while. The next one are my flowers. And this is all my flowers that are not fussy cut out. So if I want to specifically cut out one, I can. Um, but I like to have options to like use them as like little tea cards or so you can see. I didn't cut off the um, actual name of the flower. So it just leaves it to be a little bit different than just a fussy cut flower. The next one here, I have all of my envelopes that I've made so far that are... Um, Oh, what do you call it? Uh, like Franken pages. So just my scraps that I've used and just glued them down. This is not all of my envelopes. This is just all the ones that I've um, made this way. The other envelopes I have on my storage cart. I'm getting a little bit out of order here. Then I got my doilies. So all of my coffee dyed doilies, my hearts and my circles. I don't have any tea dyed. I should make some tea dyed doilies. That would be fun. The next one here, I have my file folders. Um, the same style that I'm doing with my fall giveaway um, that I did and this is an extra one that I made kind of more of a springy one and then the bases are behind there the next bag second to last is a bag of bags and these have a couple little seed bags it has some of the glassine bags that I've made and then a couple that I got from the store the final bag here are all my journaling cards most of these are Tim Holtz journaling that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby um, some of them are cut aparts from Joann's and some of them um, I've homemade, uh, made them myself. So I've got a whole bunch of different ones in here and yeah, that's how I keep all of my other little bits and pieces. And I hope it gives you an idea for what you can do. Cheap and friendly and it's super, super organized. Everything is in its place and it won't ever get lost. It won't get mushed together. I have tried using um, 
what do you call those? Uh, storage bags, like Ziploc bags. And uh, they are just not working for me because the way the bags are laid out, they're really thin. This is a lot thicker. Um, and they just fall over on each other. And I found that annoying that I had to keep flipping the flap over so that I could see what was inside there. But anyways, this is my box of organization for ephemera. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great crafty day.